All right. What's up, everyone? Uh, I'm Vandio. Uh, my uh, opponent here is Norms. Hi, everyone. And then uh, we've got our two fantastic commentators here with us, uh, Dimnix and Garf. Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. Hey, guys. And, uh, yeah, so basically what we're doing here, um, th those of you that know and love Gen 2, uh, this is one of the coolest versions of randomization for this game, in my opinion. Uh, so basically every item in the game, all the important items are mixed into one big pool, including badges and... Uh, HMs, key items, uh, as well as Poke Gear parts. So we can find them anywhere on the ground, um, not including hidden items or buried trees. Those are some extra modifiers. And the, interest, the most interesting part about this run is that we're going to be able to bike indoors. We don't have to listen to Oak anymore. He's telling, he can't tell us to, that there's a time and place. So uh, what's going to happen is uh, we're just going to count it down here, and uh, Snorms and I are going to go ahead and deafen, and then Dimnix and Garf are going to take over, and uh, just so that we're not spoiled and we can have uh, a fair race and uh, may the best runner win. So uh, if we are all all set to go, we all good, Ash? Uh, yeah, it looks like you're good to go. All right, ready, Snorms? Yep, ready to go. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck, have fun. And we're going to start here in 3, 2, 1, go. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, so yes, we are now starting off. Um, so, like was mentioned before, um, all the items in the game are essentially shuffled uh, amongst each other. So you could fight a gym leader and get just a potion a burn heal. You could find the boulder badge lying outside on the ground. Uh, as you can see, our first item here was the item finder. Hopefully we can find some items. This is a good omen. Uh, wait a second. I think I'm a little behind. Yeah. Uh, as for the starters, we have a uh, Kakuna, Elekid, and Pidgeotto. Yep, they're probably not going to be running any of these long term, but it's nice to pick the thing that's go probably going to run away from most stuff. Uh, we do have a setting in setting enabled uh, for the lower level Pokemon where they're guaranteed to be fully evolved mm. if they're level nine or lower. So we got a plane badge. badge. Yeah, plane badge. That's uh, that's very important because it lets us use strength. So when we get that, we'll be able to push some boulders and that will help us up the world a little bit. We got an Alakazam on the first round. <laughs> yeah, usually they don't. You, usually you don't see the races catch Pokemon on this route because they don't have Pokeballs at this point. We do have it set so that um, you can buy Pokeballs the first time you go into Cherry Grove City in the Mart. But the levels, the Pokemon's levels are a little bit higher on Route 30, and they. And then they'll have to go through there anyway, so... so unless some... they see something really good, yeah. probably just go and catch something over there. Mm. Something you'll notice is that all the Pokémon we're encountering are going to be fully evolved. Um, so this isn't for the entire run, this is just Pokémon... Wild Pokémon under level 10 will be in their fully evolved form. This is just to help us get a uh, better Pokémon running at the beginning. So this leveling up his Pidgeotto, which is a bit interesting. I don't expect that he'll run this, but uh, I guess if he finds nothing else, uh, you Ooh, might as well. There's some good Pokemon this first group. Kingdra is yeah. very solid. Uh, only, only having one weakness is really very handy for full item randos in particular, because you just want to be able to, you know, take those hits against high level Pokemon, and uh, having only one weak, uncommon weakness is a good way to achieve that. Yeah. Uh, we see Vandio a little bit ahead picking up a TM from the Berry Guy's house. Uh, looks like there's a Rock Slide and a Sludge TM uh, so far. Ooh, we have Gengar. Yeah, we'll be get we'll be getting a lot of TMs uh, in the game. Uh, those are th th those are decent-ish TMs. I think they're set to like 25% good t good moves for TMs. I think good moves defined as like uh, above. 60 power, or was it above 50 power and like above 90 accuracy? Um, yeah, it's 
something like that. The Magmar uh, has an okay moveset. Magmar's not quite got the... well, it's it's a little bit frail. Uh, just as, as, if you've got some, if you've got a good moveset though, you can just kind of power through things with Magmar. But a little bit, a little bit more scary to run than the more bulky Pokemon. We see a Mr. Mom with Cross Chop taking out the Magmar. Ooh, the Gengar has Thunder Punch Bite. It's pretty good that's, coverage. That's pretty decent, yeah. <coughs> uh, and G and Gengar, Gengar d just doesn't get hit by a lot of moves, so. Mm. Um, definitely, definitely a solid Pokemon to take to the end. Bandio picks up another TM in a Mystic, Mystic Water. Of course, because of the nature of full item randomizer, uh, we do have the, the, the world can open up in very strange and interesting ways. So what we catch here might not be what we take to the end, depending on in what order we're able to access certain areas. Uh, we have it set so that you don't have to go back to back to Elm to progress. So the, these guys, they didn't even have to go to see Mr. Pokemon, but it's, it's, it, they usually do just to check the items there. Um, but then you can just uh, keep going and uh, see see what see how the world opens up from there. And Vandio decides to take a save before taking on this trainer, uh, especially with these uh, lower levels. Uh, it, sometimes you can get surprisingly walled on trainers that you wouldn't think you would be. Like a level two and a level four uh, can easily wall you. Ooh, Squirtle has Rock Smash. That'd be interesting if we ran into it, but. It's actually impossible since it would be a Blastoise. You could grab the uh, Rock Smash and uh, try to get a level 15 Pokemon from Smashing Rocks in uh, Dark Cave. Could also get some items from there uh, out of out of order, out of logic. But uh, not often that that falls into your lap. Yeah, looks basically, like both trainers are through the fight pretty easily. Yeah, in this early part of the game, what we're really looking to do is find a way to get out of Goldenrod. Uh, we have it so that the Cut Tree Alex Forest is removed, so you don't need Cut to get to Goldenrod, but to get out in Goldenrod, you need either the Squirt Bottle or the Pass. Uh, the Pass is an interesting one because that lets you go to Kanto like, straight away. But uh, the Squirt the Squirt Bottle is like, a bit more a bit more vanilla, um, but, uh, but but if you get but if you get it super early, you might be able to skip Golden Rod altogether for a while. Uh, this is definitely you know, there's a potential for some interesting routing, depending on how things turn out. Hey, it looks like Vandio is uh, he may be knocking out the Celebi from some experience. Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> if he can hit with his 95% accurate Icy Wind, goodness me. Yeah. Icy Wind, at least for me, seems to be the move with the highest accuracy that seems to miss the most. 95% uh, not... accuracy, I'll miss it three times in a row. <laughs> yeah. I pick, look, look. I think every every owner knows the feeling of missing a 95%. Storm's getting a bit unlucky there as well with uh, not being able to lock out the Algazan to put him to sleep while trying to get those levels. So yeah, usually you see the runners go up Sprout Tower at this point because there are a few items over there. You don't, you don't really want to leave any items behind because you don't really know where the Golden Rod Escape item is going to be. And uh, of course, with Bike Indoors, uh, all, all this dungeon traversal would be even faster, which uh, I'm not used to. But uh... yes, I've actually never done a Bike Indoors uh, up to this point, so um, it seems like it'd be. I mean, it looks pretty fun to me, so I'm hoping to try it soon. Yeah, they're going to check the escape route chamber here. There's four items in here. Yes, it's you... really good to check this as soon as you can, because if you find that squirt bottle, you can go catch a level 20 right there. Yep. And it looks like there are no key items in the chambers, but uh, maybe a little bit of money. Uh, X special, max ether, and a foot claw.
Bandio decides to go straight to the mall, the mart to uh, sell some stuff. It looks like Storms is going to make his way up towards the Sprout Tower. He has his escape rope because because the item is all randomized. Of course, there's no guarantee to get an escape rope in the tower. But I guess it with bike indoors it's not such big a deal if you forget that. Ooh, jump kick on the Gengar too, just noticed that. This is a pretty solid moveset so far, uh... Yeah, I mean... Can cover, cover, a lot, cover a lot of things. We'll probably, you know, later on upgrade to a few more powerful special moves. We get a lot of TM, so it's... It's, uh, it's very likely we'll get, like, one of the premier special moves, and of course Surf is guaranteed because it's an HM, and you have it set so that every Pokémon can learn every HM in this game. And something to note, the Tauros there had Boomerang, which is a physical move, and Tauros being a strong physical attacker. Um, so if Magmar would not have knocked out with Aeroblast, that would have been a lot of trouble. Yeah, if that was on a higher level, if that was a high level Tauros, that could have been a problem. Drill pick Machamp, we have some great physical attackers today, <laughs> on the opponent's side at least. <laughs> Wreck and he's always nice. We're guaranteed a few of those as well. Because the item ball is shuffled from the regular item pool. So every item that you normally find on the ground or that are give that's given to you, uh, it's just shuffled to the other ones. So it's not like completely randomized like in some in some modes. It's uh like the, it's just like the regular item pool is all in different places than usual. Mm -hmm. Shuffled amongst each other. So we know about how many of which items are going to end up with if we were to collect everything. Um, not much, it's less of a randomizer, more of a shuffler, but still, uh, it definitely feels random. And that's cut. Ooh. Storm to set, storm to then. We can't use that yet because we don't have the hive badge, but, uh, you know, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting somewhere slowly with these key items. Cuts particularly cuts cuts pretty important because that's usually how you access the west side of Kanto. Uh, but you need to wake up Snorlax first, and we don't need both gear parts yet, so that's a long way away. Mm, uh, this elderly fight uh, sometimes gives some trouble. Yeah, he has a level ten, which is you know. The same level as Snorms is main right now, and and, and Vandy is main right now. So if that's something scary. It can be a problem. And there's a Hypnose, which should not be too much trouble for the Gengar, since it has a bite. Ooh, yeah. ah, yeah. yeah, he's all right. Oof. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. It doesn't cut the burn. Doesn't cut the power of bite, so he's okay. And the Elder gave X-Speed, so it was not required. Uh, that's something that you'll see a lot in these, is you'll do a fight. Uh, imagine, you know, fighting that, uh, fighting the Elder, and you actually do struggle with it, and it takes you a few attempts. You finally beat it and just get an X-Speed for it. Uh, it can feel pretty bad, but luckily Storms was able to first try it. Yeah, this Magmar's struggling with Hypno's big special defense. And he's gonna... yeah, Vandy's gonna give it another go. Ooh, a Dragonite on the first trainer in Bob <laughs> Gym. <laughs> That's scary. If I recall correctly, the uh, Bird Keepers have specific AI where they will always use an attacking move. So, that could be particularly scary. This is another big, big reason why it's so good to do Sprout Tower first, because, you know, imagine taking that on when you were, like, only level 6 or 7. Let's 
see if Vandy has bad luck this time. Yeah, it does a bit more damage with his physical move against the especially bulky Hypno. Ooh, that Egg Bomb crit. That is unfortunate. So that uh, scenario I described uh, just a couple minutes ago, Vandio is now living through it. Ooh, Sleep Powder from the Needle Queen. Ooh, Shadow Ball too. It looks like both runners are going to be struggling on their respective fights. This has been a bit of a mean start, really, but uh, no, nothing, nothing that they can't deal with. It's just, uh, it's just a bit, a bit, bit of an issue. Oh, we've got another hit now. Oh, uh, I'm sure, Vandio is not going to be pleased to see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh, he can't. He's out of. He's out of heels as well, so he has to take. Well, he could have gone for the. I think he. I think he could. He, he could still have won if he'd have gotten lucky there. I think he could have at least, you know, gone for the egg bomb miss or something. Not the most accurate move out there. Uh, looks like uh, Storms is able to wake up and take out the hypno. So uh, that will be the first gem for Storms. Oh, the squirt bottle from Faulkner. So Ooh. there we go. A little bit. This is now. This is an interesting position here because. You might want to. It's it's you know it's a little later now, but you can still take the take the early main switch, or you can go the regular route and uh, see if you can find some items down there because there are quite a few items down at Salia Way. Let's see what Storms how Storms decides to play this. Yeah, Vandio is just not yeah, he, having he a good time here. Very rough. Uh, but he's sticking with it. Uh, this battle is optional. You do not have to beat it in order to continue, but uh, Vandio may feel like there's an important item here that he needs to get. And you don't feel like this, sh this should be a battle that you can't win. It's just... Uh... Hmm. Looks like Whitney took a little stroll out. Yeah, Storms is going to at least check this. Uh, the Pokemon are easier to catch in this randomizer. They're about about one in three chance to catch anything with a Pokeball at full health. So, you know, it's like when you come across these higher level things, no matter what they are, it's worth trying to catch them just to see if you can upgrade. But it looks like he's just he's just uh, that was that was the extent of his detour, and he's going to go down towards the Azalea direction now. And this looks like um there's the rainbow badge. Yep, we do need all 16 badges before we can fight red. Which uh that that's the in case we didn't make that clear, that's the end of the game. Uh that, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to Ooh. fight red. Uh, we find HMO4 here in the Pokemon Center. On Route 32, oh, so they now have full strength access since they got the plane badge earlier. Yep. And there's Rising Badge. Looks like Storms made a uh, pretty good decision coming down here because uh, there's lots of stuff so far. And Ooh. the Hive Badge, so we can use Cut as well. Ooh. Goodness me. Wow, this is a very interesting seed so far. Uh, lots of early stuff. Yeah, um, Vandio did end up bailing out of Sprout Tower, so you do you do wonder if that will play on his mind later on, or if he'll just like leave it for a while. It's always scary when you like leave those one items. Like, what if it's the one that I need to, you know, progress? Regardless, he, uh, he probably won't be coming back for it for a little while, uh, considering he will be getting the Squirt Bottle uh, after the gym. And it'll be interesting also to see if Vandio decides to take a different path after getting the score bottle, because you do get access to Goldenrod and Ecritique, um, and all the connecting towns as well, so uh, you don't have to go the route that Storm is going. He might be a little more tempted, because 
uh, his his magma can come up against a few problems. Uh, he, like you know, he sees that we've got the <laughs> got the hypno again on Faulkner. Um, so yeah, he might be more tempted to. Ooh, stab Ember, let's go. <laughs> okay, I mean that's, that's something, I guess. We we'll put a little more power than that, though. Oh come on, it's 60 base power after stab. No, there's nothing to complain about. It's, uh, weaker than our end. Ooh. One thing kind of has a moveset, and especially after getting strength. Yep, Moltank, uh, very good speed and defense and the HP and pretty pretty good attack as well. Sam Strength will take you pretty far, you just need a little bit of coverage against those types that it resists. We have Crunch, I guess, <laughs> so, and <laughs> Dynamic Punch, I guess, I mean they're not really ideal. If Moltank's special attack is not good and Dynamic Punch is only 50% accurate, but uh, Something. Let's see if Vandio decides to also switch to the Milton Egg. It's definitely going to catch it, that's the smart move, but will he decide to uh, try to find something else in the area? Size is good enough. Do not blame him considering the troubles he's had. Cross chop is a solid move that you might want to teach Null Tank to deal with those rock and steel types. He does go up towards that critique this time. Oh, yeah, so some nice divergence here. You'd love to see it. And looks like he's going into the Ecrity Pokemon Center, uh, which will activate the Bill cutscene. And uh, there's a good chance Vandio may decide to go get the free Pokemon from Bill in Goldenrod, which is going to be a level 20. Yep, uh, he just goes into the Pokemon Center and dips out, which leads me to believe that's what he's planning on doing. Ooh, the Zephyr badge here right beside Ecrity. Yep, this unlocks a check on Route 32 by talking to the talking to the guy who normally gives you the Miracle Seed, and also lets you use Flash outside of battle. Not that, not that either of these two runners absolutely need to, you know, use Flash to get through Dark Caves, but it is. But you do also need it to access a hidden chamber in the Ruins of Al. Hmm. Looks like Vandio is not immediately going to uh, Goldenrod. Rather, he's gonna. Go around and uh, probably take the path towards Azalea. Oh, wait, no, you can get this check right here with the Zephyr badge. Yep. Wasn't anything this time, but, but yeah, now he's going to go down towards Azalea. Yeah, committing rock slide to the mill tank. Mm, so he's not committing cross chop, so that kind of tells me that he's maybe not completely sold on this mill tank, uh, being his long-term main. Might be saving Crosstop for a later main switch, because it would definitely be good on this mill tank moveset. This will be strength for Vandio, which will definitely help the mill tank's uh, moveset. And he decides to teach it immediately. Meanwhile, Snorms is uh, finishing up the uh, Farfetch quest. Gets a gold berry, and he's going to be able to get um, another check around here. Um, the charcoal check. But he decides to hit up the gym first. Yep. Uh, this uh, do, do, doing doing Bugsy is like a little bit of time investment for only two items. So some 
some runs uh, you kind of like to skip Bugsy and do him later, but you really don't want to leave um, leave something like Fly here and have to come back later for it because of, you don't uh, <laughs> because it, it could be a while before you have to come back here. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. That would be my one fear is uh, missing a piece of Fly in the Bugsy's gym. Uh, with Fly logic, um, Fly logic is. Um, a bit complicated to explain, uh, but essentially, uh, since we got the squirt bottle, uh, fly can essentially be uh, anywhere that's not in Kanto right now. Um, once we find the pass, if we don't find the SS ticket, then fly can be uh, nearly everywhere aside from uh, what is it, the ride of Mahogany Town and uh, what past the past the Snorlax. Can't, it can't, yeah, it can't, it can't be like you, you don't have to go through Diglett's caves, uh, or you, you can't, you don't have to enter Misty's gym, and you don't have to climb the waterfall in Tojo. So there's a few like, there's a few little, you know, logic things like that, just so that Fly isn't too late because finding Fly earlier than your opponent can be a pretty big difference because it just makes traversing the world that much faster. Did Vandio go to the basement of Union Cave? I don't think I caught him going there. So he went there and uh, escape roped out and then oh. went back in. Okay. So he has checked that. Well, I don't believe we found any important items around Azalea. So we see Snorms moving on. Oh, but there's the boulder badge. And the expansion card. Uh, so that is one of the three pieces of the Poke Gear that is required in order to uh, wake up the Snorlax, which is ultimately required to beat the game. Yep, I mean, what <laughs> we may well not have seen the end of main switches yet. If you if you get all three poker gear parts fairly early, or even like, you know, in the middle of the game, something to a level fifty is often quite tempting. Alright, and there are a lot of checks in Golden Rod, so we're gonna see a lot of new um, things coming out of here. Um, maybe it'll all be trash, maybe we'll see a lot of uh, really important key items, so uh, we just gotta see. And it doesn't hey, look like there's have... too many good teams, but he did pick up Headbutt and Sweet, or Rock Smash, which Rock Smash is required, and getting a Water Stone as well, so those um, open up some checks, Rock Smash and uh, the Water Stone. Yeah, and he was able to buy Rock Smash there because after after um, after getting rid of the Sudo Wudo tree uh, and talking to the guy who normally gives you TM08 uh, in the vanilla game, we do have it set up so that you can buy Rock Smash from the Mart. And that just means that... <coughs> oh. Uh, Sorry, no. Oh, I was just going to say that uh, Storms did not check the basement of the mall. Oh, okay. But he does get the Cascade Badge from the bike shop. Okay, now he's going back there. Yeah, he, uh, it's, he probably just forgot to get it. Yeah, it's pretty easy to forget checks if you're uh, not super, super paying attention because there are a lot of checks in this game. Especially when you have bike indoors and you and it just gives you less time to think and while you're while you're moving, you just gotta go go go. Alright, luckily there was not anything too terribly important in there. There was a rare candy, which is nice. So it's always nice to have, especially for the end game. Mm. Uh, there's a good chance that uh, 
before Vandio can check the radio tower, he will get seven badges, um, which will push him, push the, uh, have the rockets appear in the radio tower, so he won't be able to get that full restore, uh, which may affect his route, uh, even though uh, I mean, he won't know it's a full restore. He may think it's an important item, so he may be uh, a little bit uh, frazzled, I guess, uh, if he's not able to get past the trainer. Yeah, I mean, if as long as he, as long uh, if it, it, yeah, it'll, it'll depend, you know, if he checks the bike shop first or the tower first, because he will get the boulder badge in the forest, and then the cascade badge will be a seventh. Uh, he uh, also decides to go check Bugsy. Looks like they're, for the most part, taking the same route, uh, aside from Vandio going up to. Um, Ecritique for just a second to grab a couple of items. Ooh, 13 levels higher and Crunch was not enough <laughs> to take out the <laughs> new. Yeah, no, uh, it's... Gold Tank Special Attack is not good. You'd much rather have a Shadow Ball for your ghost coverage. <laughs> no, the Storm's fighting that the Storm's fighting that guy, uh, even though he doesn't have to go that way yet, just because the experience is much more valuable. At lower levels, like when you when you when you come back here later to check the check the basement, or after you've gotten the basement key, you're much higher level, and the experience from that that fight doesn't really help all that much. But uh, it can be a bit more valuable here. To... Ooh, seeing the bike indoors in Whitney's gym is just so <laughs> satisfying. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Uh... it make you jealous that it wasn't on for the uh, tournament? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, without bike indoors, there is a strategy that you save outside of Whitney's gym, and if there's no key items from Whitney, you just reset to outside of the gym, because it's that slow to walk out, in and out. Yeah, there's a few save, save strats that, uh, that I'm kind of more used to seeing that we haven't seen, I guess, just because of the bike indoors. Like, you can do that for the items in the radio tower, too, but because you still have the bike for that... Uh, Storms didn't bother. And speaking of Whitney, uh, Whitney's uh, being taken out by her own mill tank. <laughs> Storm just hits dynamic fudge just as if it's <laughs> nothing. Ooh, it oh, does not, not take out the palace one, though. Eh, it's fine. Confusion. Okay, mega kick. Well, it's oh. it is stronger right. than strength, I guess. But uh, double normal probably, stab. Yeah, I mean you'll probably only be clicking back in an emergency, but uh, strong Ooh. move for sure. We do get HMO two here, which is half of the access to fly, which is our fast travel for the game. So uh, that is very nice to see. It, although it's not strictly required to beat Whitney. Um, getting that fly is going to be very helpful. Here we also see Snorms picking up Kenya, which is required for a quest for a couple of items. Yep. Yeah, the other half of fly is the Storm Badge, so be on the lookout for that. Vandio has made his way into Goldenrod. Oh, and there's getting... Whirlpool. Yep. That locks Whirl Islands and an item on your way to Victory Road as well. And Dragon's Den. But, uh, besides that, not super... And the, although, you know, the, it, it, it is worth noting there is a level 60 that can be switched to. 
uh, in Whirl Islands, but we do need the Silver Wing and Surf and Surf and Whirlpool to get over there. So yes, uh, we see off. Storms uh, doing a safe strat here. Uh, this item here in National Park is a bit out of the way, so uh, if it's nothing important, we can just reset over to the door. And, yep, that's what he decides to do. The max repel is not worth it. Looks like you're gonna turn in Kenya here. Ooh, and this will be the Cascade Badge for Vandio. Yep, so... So yeah, 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 as you said, we will we will see the difference in Radio Tower if he goes over there. It's not the seventh badge. He'll get a phone call here. Ooh, unfortunately, we did not get to see what the Kenya was. That's usually uh, interesting to see. And yeah, it looks like Vandio will be at least grabbing the uh, the quiz item, but he may not go up to the Buena item. Storms is going back to check the item that you get from Elm for getting the Rising Badge, but he is saving because it's quite a way, way to go, ways to go, and it might not be anything important. Mm. That being said, if you find that Storm Badge, it pays off very quickly, and yeah, it actually looks like Vandia reset away uh, before getting the Cascade Badge in order to grab Wena's item without uh, triggering the rocket sequence. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's always, you know, he, it's not like, 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 we, like we've said, it's, it's always scary to leave that one item behind. Yeah, this does mean he will have to go grab the Cascade Badge again, which he's doing now. Not too much of a time loss. Normally you save before grabbing uh, this bike shop item anyway, due to the fact that it does give you a forced phone call. Oh, there's Flash. Uh, yep, that could well be important. Uh, he doesn't have the Zephyr badge yet, but uh, we know that it's not too far out of his way. Hmm. It's that one of those was... items where uh, you don't want to reset it away because you might need it, uh, but it's not something that's immediately helpful at the moment. So... Uh, he is going to have to just take the long way back and not really be able to do much with the Flash HM at the moment. Especially since he doesn't have the Zephyr badge yet because he hasn't gone to Ecritique. Yeah, I mean, he'll get that very soon, <laughs> soon though. There's not really much more that he can do at the moment besides go go to towards Ecritique. There's that bike shop phone call. <laughs> yeah, because he's definitely made good use of his bicycle. And, uh... Oh, he's yeah, going to uh, the get the cut check. Yeah. Ooh, a psychic TM. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep that in mind for any future main switches. There are lots of very strong, very accurate special moves. Uh, a lot of people like running special Pokemon just because there's a lot of good special moves out there. Uh, in, compa in comparison to the physical moves, a lot of the physical moves are either a bit weaker or a bit less accurate. Mm, looks like uh, Snorms is deciding what to do. He takes a save, so he's going to be checking the Kenya item, I imagine. Yeah. Ooh, also biking indoors through those uh, bug catcher gates, um, or bug catching contest gates. Uh, normally you can't bike through those, and it's uh, a little frustrating, but with bike indoors you can just go right through them. Ooh, decides to reset away the TM without looking at it. Well, it was TM, it, it was TM28, which is always dig. Oh, you're right, yes. I forgot. It's been a while since I've run one of these. <laughs> Yeah, all the TMs that give you field items, uh, give you field moves, are, they still teach you the same field moves. So TM28 always teaches you dig, no matter what. Yes, yes. Um, looks like he will be entering the burn tower. He can 
You can break the rock in here to get the item. Yeah, he'll actually be able to clear out uh, both items in here since he does have strength access as well. Yep. That's very nice. Sometimes you have to make multiple trips into this building just because uh, you don't have the required items for it. Yeah, you don't always do um, the whole burn tower thing for a while, but yeah, like you say, because he has strength, it's uh, worthwhile doing this. Morty's another one that you often delay for a while just because there are a few trainers in his gym to, before you get to him. I don't think we'll be seeing him delay Morty uh, with the items he has right now because he can't really do a whole lot more with the items he has. Uh, he will need... You, you, uh, 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 usually the, the big thing you need is either... Well, he doesn't have Kanto access and he doesn't have Surf yet. Yeah, not... Doesn't have Surf, doesn't have Fog Badge either, so... Yeah. Um... Yeah, essentially what he has left that he can do is he can fight Morty, he can get a couple of items in Olivine and the Lighthouse, and he can uh, get a few items up towards uh, in Mount Mortar and Lake of Rage. Uh, but outside of that, not a whole lot. Let's hear these rumors. Anyone good at Roamer cries in chat? Usually decent, but uh, I I was not able to get any of them this time. <laughs> now it's quite nice to have your item, uh, your, your your bag full at this point, just because it does save a little bit of time picking up those the the, the, the uh, time that you'd spend picking up those items you don't really need. Vandio, uh, he's at this point has beaten Whitney. Um, looks like he's doing some uh, PC healing. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if um, Vandio decides to do Burn Tower and Morty, or if he decides to go for some of the quicker checks first. Uh, considering the checks in uh, Mount Mortar, uh, Lake of Rage, and uh, a couple of checks in Olivine, they do not require any fighting. So they're just quickly, you can just get them, pick them up off the ground. So we may see a divergence in path here, but it's also possible he just decides to just go for Morty at this point. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not maybe quite not quite used to the uh, <laughs> having to make these tight turns with a buggy. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. you can skip this trigger by just not yeah by, by just doing that. There but uh, <laughs> it's much easier when you're on when you're not on the bike. You definitely rather fail that a few times than than hit her anyway. Uh, we do see Vandio go straight for the Burn Tower. the next item that we'll find that will open up the world a bit more. We don't have either part of Surf yet, so we might be looking at... Uh, I don't know, maybe we might be looking at Kanto Access soon, but uh, yeah, that on its own doesn't help with all that much, I guess.
Yeah. Uh, I will say, if we do see the SS ticket pop up pretty soon, uh, we can make a guesstimation that the other part of Fly is somewhere here in northern Johto. Yeah, as a reminder, you never have to take the boat to get Fly. Yeah, I'm not sure which audio was playing, so I'm not sure like when you guys heard the rumors. But I think they were Oddish and Fortress, the sweet and being Amphro. Well, we see Vandio skipping more to and going towards okay. Olivine. So yeah, we'll get to see it. some, some uh, different items. Yeah, he can check the lighthouse and a few items in Olivine. If he does have to go back to Echo Seek, it's not too big a deal. It's not too far out of his way. Morty mm -hmm. was a scam this time, by the looks of it. Indeed he was. Now the Kimono Girls are still an option here as well. But it looks like Storms will also be heading over towards Olivine. Yeah, the Kimono Girls five fights for one item, but they are five pretty quick fights because they only have one Pokemon each. Yeah. And at this point, uh, the progress could be anywhere. Looks like Vandio does decide to go up the lighthouse uh, before checking the strength item. It's so fast with the bite, goodness me. <laughs> oh yes, it... wow. Yeah, this is the future. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the speed. This is what Oak's been holding back for all these years. Deciding now to stock up on some super repels. And let's see. <laughs> Second bicycle. Um, yeah, that is part of the. It's all pretty funny when you see that, but uh, we do start with a bicycle just to make things a bit faster, so. But uh, it, is, it, is, it is in the item pool, so it's gotta go somewhere. see some of these lighthouse items. Nothing here. Looks like we're gonna have to go through Mount Mortar. Oh, there's the radio card. Oh, <laughs> I guess I did a bit soon, but uh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, uh, I have another tutor is the way towards uh, being Van able to wake up the Snorlax. Did Vandia not check the last item in the... Lock behind the trainer. I guess not. Yeah, I think Vandio just skipped one of the items in the lighthouse. Uh oh. Well, we'll see if Snorms uh, checks that. Mm -hmm. Could be important because yeah, we don't have a whole lot more we can do. We have the. Well, we well well. Uh, I mean, we know that the flash chamber is accessible because, but 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 neither but uh, Vandy doesn't have HMO five yet, and Snorm doesn't have the Zephyr badge yet. So neither of them can do it right now, but they'll be able to do it soon. And then yeah, we can go to Mount Morton and do some stuff over there. Uh. You see Vandio saving. 
Oh. I think someone's just fell down one too, one too many times there. Mm. Yeah, he is going to fight the trainer. Yeah, so Snorms will get the item. We'll see if it's important. Uh, with the strength access, they do have access to uh, four more items in this part of Mount Mortar. There's all three parts of the Poke Gear. Okay. <laughs> it's unusual to find that before we can actually get into Kanto at all. But, uh. Yeah, so we can get. We can. As soon as we were able to get to Kanto, we can see what the, that level 50 is. Okay, it's just a pink bow, so Vandio is safe. He did not miss an important item. All calculated from Vandio. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> actually does save a. A couple minutes there, so not a bad um, mistake to make. <laughs> we do have cuts, so we can check the the items in behind the cut maze in Lake of Rage. And really, I believe this is one of, if not, well, no, they have a uh, rock smash access, so they can still, and they have. Uh, flash as well, so they can yeah. check uh, Dark Cave, but this is one of the last places they have access to, as far as item checks go. Yeah, Vandio would have to go all the way back to Elm to get Flash. Ooh, and that... there's the pass. <laughs> okay, level 50, here we come. Yeah, so that is the Kanto access, and looks like will be the direction that Vandio will most likely be taking after he finishes up these items. Unfortunately, no fly yet, so uh, we'll have to navigate the maze backwards. Teaching a few DM, few HMs here. Hoping it'll get the badges to use them soon. Alright. Um. Uh, well, interestingly, this actually puts Vandio kind of in an advantage here, uh, as long as he doesn't, as long as he doesn't decide to do Morty at some point. You'll briefly consider going through Ice Path and checking those items. Uh, but he knows that Fly can't be in that direction, so he might be saving that for when he gets when he gets when he gets Fly. But uh, but yeah, but yeah, he, what, what you could what you could have done was you could have gone through Ice Path and checked all those items, hopped down uh, Route 45 and 46, and that would have put him near New Bark Town, so he can check the item on Elm. And he uh, turns in the Kenya and uh, is now going to check out the Dark Cave items. Yep, and after he does this, he'll be pretty close to Elm as well, so... He will get his HMO5. Hmm, Rhydon would have been our Rock Smash Pokémon, or one of the two choices. Yeah, I mean, I guess Rhydon could have been... Decent for like going, getting through his early fights, but uh, you don't really want to take something with a 
with those nasty four times weaknesses uh, long term. <laughs> He's gotten three encounters from Rock Smash. Oh dear, that's a bit unlucky for Vandia. What is the percentage of getting an encounter there in the first place? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I want to say it's, it's like 30, but I'm, that's just me just guessing. I have actually no idea. Storm's just going to go through my path, so we will see if there's anything important in there. There are a lot of items in Ice Path, so... Uh, uh, he resets away, um, but they also reset away uh, getting the... Um, <laughs> the we are giving the Kenya to the guy, so uh, hopefully he realizes that. If not, uh, he might be a little confused. Yeah, and he didn't check the, he didn't do the rising bash check either, so he doesn't, he won't, he won't get flash at this point. You'll have to wait a little bit for that. He's just going to go straight to Kanto and uh, see what, and you know, you'll, you'll check what that level fifty is. I'll see a few items here as well. too far. He's going to reset that room so he can give it another go. Alright, so anything in the fighting dojo? God, this can't be good for the floors, goodness me. Ooh, biking, biking in this building as well is, uh, it's pretty nice. Oh! Snorm's <laughs> egg is hatching. Oh, ho, ho. It's a smear goal. Ooh. Vandio is deciding to head over towards Lavender Town. Yeah, I mean this is this is the like he, he, he can get he can get back though because he, he can get past the Snorlax. So that is true. That is true. That's fine. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't have to like fight a trainer to get back or anything. Oh, he's going to go through rock tunnel as well. You can't just escape it out of here once you've got all the gotten all the items. So that's not too big a deal. You have to face a somewhat high level trainer here. Oh, it's a Weedle! Oh Can no! Can he do it? Terrifying. Ooh, the rock slide tactical. It survives! Oh no. Meanwhile, Snorms uh, makes it out of Ice Path. He's now going towards Route 45. Um... He does not have Surf. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> he, he can't. He, he can't go through through Dark Cave from that side. But he can check the items here on uh, Route Forty Five. Yeah, it's uh, not super common that you make it over this way without having Surf. So um, easy mistake to make. Vandy doesn't have Flash, but. Uh, both of these runners are experienced enough to be able to navigate these dark areas without flash if necessary. It looks like there wasn't anything important in Rock Tunnel. We have two item checks here that uh, Vandio can do. Oh. There's one that he can get with Cut, right? I guess he he can't get one with Kurt, yes. He just decides not to get it yet. But he really wants to see what that Snorlax is going to be. I am very much looking forward to this.
Well? <laughs> uh, perhaps not. Ooh. <laughs> it does have cross chop. He's hoping to get some food. experience off of this. Yeah, but, uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, no, Yanma just doesn't really have the the stats that you want to really switch to it. We do have to fight Red in the end, don't forget. And he has he has like level 80 Pokemon, so you don't really want to come uh, have have something that doesn't have the base stats to be able to take some hits and dish them out. Yeah, he does. He is uh, deciding to catch it, but uh, probably will not be running it long term. Mm. <laughs> At least it has some, you know, high-powered moves, I guess. It is much higher level than Null Tank right now. So he might consider, you know, running it for a little bit, but facing Red Hood seems pretty scary. Looks like Snorms will be making his way over into Kanto. Oh, and we get to see that the Kenya is an Eevee. And you're getting very unlucky with the catch rate there. It's supposed to be one in three at full health. That's what we keep. That's what we're told, anyway. One in three. Um. Maybe he'll get better luck this time. Oh uh, yeah. He's okay. Yeah. Uh, after he's after he weakens it, he can definitely. Yeah, that'll be fine. Is he going to take the Yanma challenge? Alright, we got uh, the fan club director's item, which is a good rod. Something that's been implemented into this as well is that the rods uh, are progressive. So even though the rods, there are three rods shuffled into the item pool, uh, no matter what order you get them, it'll always be old rod and good rod and super rod. Uh, and that's to prevent uh, getting the super rod super early. You can get a uh, level 40 Pokemon, you know, before you even are past Pokemon with double digit levels. So um, it's just to help balance out the game a bit. Oh no! Vandio uh, makes a bit of a mistake passing that spinner. But we'll get to see the power of Yanma, here we go. Or he could just reset. <laughs> Fine. Maybe <laughs> we'll have to wait a little longer to see the power of Yanma. Oh, he has to catch it again. Oh dear. Someone's are just like, <laughs> not interested. Yeah, he will have to. He will have to go back there if he wants to get sir. Storms does check his cut item. Oh, the fog badge! Oh, oh man. Well, I hope Vandio remembers to go back for that. That is super important. Oh, uh, indeed it is. Because, you know, Surf is only, yeah, Surf is only half the story of what we're going to need there. Storms is going to get Surf very shortly. This Yanma has caused Vanyo more pain than any Yanma has any ever caused anybody.
Alright, looks like Snorms will be picking up some quick items here in uh, West Canto. Yep. I don't expect him to take on any of the gym leader. That, uh, like, well, he's already not not taken on Brock, which uh, not too surprising. He's uh, he is pretty low level for that, and Brock only gives you one item. Yeah, he's gonna check what he can here. Of course, now that he has Surf, he can go towards Blaine if he wants to, but uh, again, not really that tempting with uh, a low-level Pokémon. Check a few items down here. He can't check the he can't check the one behind Wilful yet because he doesn't have the Glacier Badge at the moment. But he uh... is there a ledge down here? I think you, you 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 can you can get to the other side of Tojo from here, right? I can't I can't well, even remember. you can't. Well, uh, you need Surf, which yeah, he had to, he does have Surf at this point. And you're getting the mystery egg. Uh, you know, that's going to incentivize him to go back and check Elm. So he will get Flash and he'll also see what the mystery egg check is before too long, I would have thought. I guess someone's just going to check that one item and, uh, and get out. Yeah, without Fly, it's a. Uh... Well, no, he can just go back and if he has eight badges. Does he have eight badges? Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah, then he would be fine. You know, the trouble with, uh... Oh, yeah, this is... Vandio can repel this stuff if he... If he, if he wants to, but maybe he's, uh... Maybe he's trying to scout out another main switch in Victory Road. Yeah, I would not be surprised at this point. You do get level 35 max here, 40 max at night time. Yeah, unfortunately we're not seeing any viable Pokémon here. Yeah. I mean, he's thinking about Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur does evolve in two levels. He does knock it out with a gust, though. Ooh, a Porygon 2. Yep, that could be, that could, no, that's a pretty solid Pokemon. Pretty bulky, and uh, can, can attack on both of its lands special side. Now it chops a little bit further from getting to the final stage of the uh, evolution. We do, we do, we have, we do have it so that all the trade evos and stuff are possible. But, uh... But the um, Ma Ma Machoke evolved into Mat Jumper 37 in this randomizer. So yeah, well... Looks like, looks like uh, Snorms. Snorms. Yeah, he's gonna be switching over to the Porygon. Yeah, and he can use one so that he can repel everything else in here. Ooh, yeah, no, Randy only has... Bandy only has seven badges right now, so he can't go back the way he came. Unless he just like resets or faints or whatever, because he can't fly out of here either. Yeah, and Bandio also, uh, I believe, does not. He did not get the fog badge still. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I hope he remembers about that. I can. Because uh, it was the one that he didn't check on the mm. route. And yeah, he's just realizing he just now realized, that he can't go back. Yeah. You can see where, where he paused. He's, he's going to try it, but he's not going to be able to get past there. Ooh, he will need to so reset. If he, didn't, if he didn't save, he will have to mm. take, the, take the death walk on something. 
Yeah, he's really contemplating. Yeah, I think he was he like thinking, oh, when did I last save? But, don't tell uh... me. Don't tell me it's the Yanma. Oh, <laughs> it's no. here again! The Yanma! The Yanma oh, will not no. go away. Oh, no. Uh, he also lost uh, the items he got in um, Victory Road, particularly the Mystery Egg. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's not too big a deal. He, uh, he, he can just... I guess he can, like, you know... Repels through it again, and you can like skip a lot of the items you picked up the first time around. Yeah, he does get it. <laughs> We've got a dick baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Dang Yanma. Oh, uh, I really feel for Vandia right now. He does pick up Surf again. And decides to just, uh, go back. Now, will he remember that he missed that item? <coughs> uh, does not look like it at the moment. Unfortunately, since it is the Fog Badge, he will not be incentivized to go over there again. Because there is another item you can get on that route, but it's Surf Locked. Oh, but if he doesn't have... Erica? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, if he doesn't all right. uh, have all right, Surf... Alright, Yanma, time to show your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he doesn't have Surf, he won't have a, an idea of going back there, so... That's just a really unfortunate item placement. Erica does have two items. It's just a little scary to take. Uh, it, it's just always a little scary to take to take her on. There's a few. There's quite a few high level trainers in here. Someone finds the rainbow wing. Now we need that and the clear bell to access Tin Tower, and we also need to either defeat Morty or clear out the rockets from Radio Tower. Someone's Which, beating Morty, so he just needs to get the clear bell to access the Tin Tower. There's a lot of items in Tin Tower, so. Uh, Pretty, off, off, it's off, often pretty valuable to be able to access that. Yeah, uh, so Norms uh, will also be able to check the mystery I got him here coming back into New Bark Town. <laughs> I love that guy saying, you've taken your first steps in the canter. <laughs> like, I've been here for a while. These are my last steps in the canter, <laughs> sir. <laughs> What will we get five of today? Yeah, an interesting quirk five of the randomizer. Yeah, an interesting quirk of the randomizer. Uh, whatever that particular check gives you, you will get five of that item. Um, that's just the way it is because normally he gives you five potions, so or five pokeballs rather, and so yeah. you'll get five of whatever item you get from that particular check. Alright, well, there's a lot of surf checks that Snorms can do now. So, he's gonna be taking care of a lot of these. Fly could be uh, oh, behind was... any one of these checks. Well, hmm, because he got surf uh, outside of Diglett's cage. Yes, he did. Uh, yeah, so surf. So yeah, so he, he, oh, that's oh yeah, that's right. He did have to go through Diggle's cave to get surf, so no, it won't be yes. behind. Mm -hmm. It won't be behind any of those locations. So yeah, I was if, just thinking of the fog badge. If I, I had to guess, there's there's a chance that actually Erica will have the other half fly. Or well, we still have to check the. On... Oh. I, 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 I do I don't think we've checked the flash chamber yet, right? It could still be there. That is true. It could be flash chamber. Could also be the um the Route 25 checks as well. Could be Surge, could be Janine. Could even be Sabrina, because we have seven badges before we got over there. We do have it in Logic, so you don't have to mm -hmm. fight Sabrina before you have seven badges. Uh, pointing out in chat, uh, Flash Chamber is also Surf Locked, so Flash oh, Chamber. Okay, never have... mind then. Yeah, so My bad, I, yeah. 
I think it probably will either be on Erica or it'll be on the uh, the Nugget Hedge Maze trainers. That would be mean. If it was or on the Surge. Nugget. It could also be on Surge. Yeah, there's quite a few nasty places that the other half of fly could be. Power of Yanma. Hyper Potion and TM39. Not this time. Oh, we also have, um. We also have, uh, Janine as well. Which it looks like Vandio is going towards Fuchsia City, which will lead to Janine. Oh. Yep, Janine is the easiest uh, of the Kanso Gym leaders. Ooh, are we seeing a main items. switch on Cycling Road? He's considering it, yeah. He, you, get, you get up to level 33 Pokemon Ooh! here, and there's okay. <laughs> Raikou's his first encounter, and it's the oh. high level one as well. Right. And with so, Ice O. Oh. With that, okay. <laughs> Alright. Yep, that's, uh, that that's is a, pretty That is a main switch right there. Yeah, he hasn't done, like, too many... Fight, so he still can get a lot of levels from mm. from from this. Obviously, he has preferred this to be level fifty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has, he's, he's like, I don't have to use this Yan anymore. Uh... Ooh, belly drum mega <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, did he just? Uh oh. He just thought over Psychic with Surf. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Vandio! He, he just saved, so he can reset and try again if uh, he wants to keep Psychic. Uh, Vandio's just... He's just having a rough time. Alright, so Snorlax checks the Water Stone Chamber, there was nothing there. I was gonna check the flash chamber. flash chamber. Nothing here either. Nothing there. Hmm. I don't think we've gotten anything with Surf so far. Yeah, we still have Mount Mortar we can check. And uh, of course, we can do the whole Lake of Rage uh, Mahogany Rocket. Quest, but uh, yeah, we can like, like yeah, fly's not gonna be in any of these locations, so maybe, yeah, maybe Andy will find it first. The way this is going, yeah, fly is running out of places it can be. Ooh, biking through this gym as well. It's just, oh. <laughs> it's beautiful, yes. They have fly, but they need to storm badge to be able to use fly outside of battle. Yeah, sorry. When I whenever when I we say, say fly, fly, we kind of mean like yeah. the other half of fly. Yeah, uh, not necessarily the move, but the ability to to use it outside of battle is what I mean when I say fly. My bad. Uh, but storm badge is running out of places it can be. Jump kick him on Lee. Ooh, Ooh but freezing oh. the hit on Lee, that's nice. That was a crucial freeze there. He would have been taken out if he wasn't, if not for that freeze. Ooh. 
Yeah, Keeler's Unfortunately, not, not no longer having to... since he no longer has Psychic on the uh, on the Raikou, it's going to be a little tough taking out this Kingler. Alright, let's see. Nothing important on Janine, and we have a shiny Charizard, which in this generation is not as cool as later generations, unfortunately. No, we can check another item over here, so I could could be this one, uh, behind behind Kurt on this route. Basement key from uh, the shiny. Yeah, uh, logically we uh, logically we have it set so that we uh, that, that that we can we we can, we'll always be able to get the card key before the before needing the basement key, just so that you don't have to fight all the trainers down in the underground. If you clear out the rockets uh, in, uh, in in Radio Tower after using the card key, uh, the trainers in the in the basement disappear, so you don't have to fight all of those to get all the items. Yeah, unfortunately, Vandio is uh, going to be taking the bike of shame up bike path. <laughs> Ooh, again, really missing that psychic. Oh, with Miracote too. Uh, this is rough. Uh, question in chat: Is the Master Ball useful? It can be. Um, it lets you guarantee a catch with a Pokemon, so uh, if they decide to main swap later on, uh, they can just catch it guaranteed without going into any hassle. There is a... They've gotten the Snorlax at this point, which is a level 50. It's a Yanma. But they can still later on catch a level 60 in World Islands um, if they so choose to. Uh, but at this point, outside of maybe that one Pokemon, I don't see them main swapping again. Yeah, unless we like, I don't know, are able to get get Tin Tower access like right now, and can and get like a Mewtwo in there or something, in, or as the, as the Ho or something. Yeah, but... uh, we also have a setting. Normally, the Ho at the top of Tin Tower is level sixty. Uh, because we've changed the requirements to get it, um, so that you can get it earlier, um, it's now level forty uh, to balance out the fact you can get it earlier. So. At this point, their mains are almost level 40, so it would take a very special Pokemon like a Mewtwo in order to want to um, want to switch off of it. Yeah, in vanilla, you need to have beaten the Elite Four as well, but you don't want to do that in <laughs> these races. Sometimes you see the Elite Four play. There are two items locked behind the Elite Four, but uh, usually you can get away with not doing that. All right, we're going to see some uh, rocket base items here as Vandio goes back into Johto. There's the secret potion, so that gives you access to the Jasmine uh, gym leader fight. Uh, we see Vandio heading back up towards Ecritique. Um He has not done Morty yet, and he has not done Kimono Girls yet. Oh yeah, there's a geezer in the Corona Girls, have they? Come to think of it. So that's another place we could find we could find the storm badge. That is true, yes. But yeah, this is a, this is a a nice time to be able to do the uh, the the mahogany the mahogany base basement here because. The, uh, you, you get a few easy levels on your on your main. Like this this kind of mid thirties is is, is is good. It, you you like get a, a, a two or three levels out of all these fights, so it's nice to be able to get a little bit stronger without any risk here. Also, uh, I know we keep pointing it out, but being able to bike in here is just chef's kiss. More. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do think that it means that what I believe is the coolest movement in the game uh, 
is no longer really viable. Uh, where you able to walk past the grunt that's spinning, uh, and it looks like he's going to see you. Well, well, we'll see what it looks like on the bike, I guess. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. No, no, not quite as cool, I guess. Yeah, not as cool, but it's all right. It's faster. <laughs> with the Mega Horn. Good thing that uh, Raikou did not get paralyzed by the Dragon Breath on the Ditto. That would have been very sad. He remembers to talk to the Murkrow, because I forget to do that sometimes. So, yeah, so far we don't know if the Mahogany Hideout was required, because we've got the Secret Potion, but... It might be required if Jasmine gives us something good, but we don't have all the items yet. We still have a few more locked behind this. <coughs> After we do this, we'll be able to fight Price and also get the item from the guardhouse on Route 40 43, so there's a few things we can still get. Here comes the Kimono Girls check from Vandio. Should be nice yeah. and easy with its high level Riker. Yeah, it's a check that a lot of people put off for a very, very, very long time. Um, so, uh, it could be something that Snorms decides not to check for a while if it's something really good, like Storm Badge, for instance. Um, Vandio could actually be in a pretty good spot. I imagine this, yeah, little hoodlum like go, going across your your polished wooden dance floor with their with their bicycle. Such disrespect. Yeah. Mm. Not only that, you battle them and then they give you money. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're giving them money for the damage you're causing to their dance floor. The electrodes have been taken out. We get a super potion from Lance. So uh, there's still three more item checks locked behind, uh, specifically during the rocket uh, basement. So uh, we got Price's Gem, which gives us two checks, and then one check uh, up towards Lake of Rage on Route 42. So we'll see if anything came of doing the rocket hideout. Um, Oh, as well as, uh, we got the secret potion, so that'll be two more checks on Jasmine. And we only got a TM from the Kimono Girls, so... Fly still eludes us. At this point, I'm very, uh, much thinking that it is going to be on the Nugget Hedge maze. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, I hate this... to say it, but it's running out of places to be. In, yeah, in... It... man. I think yeah, it has the... to be. The Nugget Hedge Maze is just... There are so many fights to do there that you just don't want to have to go over there at all, if possible. And the fact like that it's... it's the Storm Badge, too, so it's not it's not the HM Fly, which is not necessarily strictly required to 
beat the game, but Storm Badge is strictly required, so if it's on the Nugget Hedge Maze, they will have to do that at some point. Hey, okay, it's, it, it could still it could still be Surge, and it could still be Sabrina. That is true. Oh, well, there oh, we go, so... Thunder Badge. The yeah, the Mahogany Basement was required, because we got the Thunder Badge from Price. We do see Vandio uh, going towards Ice Path now. And we see Snorm's going to pick up just one item over here. Um, that is uh, out of logic since we didn't have... Or it was out of logic since we didn't have Surf. <laughs> it's a uh, rumor. Oh, there's the roamer. So it's an Oddish. Oddish. And it's just a revive. And nothing. Alright, so now Snorms, uh, let's decide what he's gonna do next. Yep, now that he has the secret potion, he can go over to do Jasmine and all that, but he, he, he bursts, but, you know, Fly logically can't be there, so that might dissuade him from going over there for the time being, I'm not sure. Oh, he's going over oh, there. Yep, he is going over there. Um... We see Vandio making it into Blackthorn. And we see Snorms going to climb up the light tower. Ooh. Biking again. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, Bandia's like, wait, no, I still don't have that. I can't go that way. Now, if I recall, Vandio still has not returned, or did the, uh, the quest for the, uh, Rising Badge, or rather the check for it, Adam's lab, so uh, there's a good chance that he decides to do that next. And he'll pick up the HM for Flash. Yep. Vandio taking the time out to name his rival Snorms. I just realized something. Uh, it's possible that Vandio may believe or think that it is possible that a storm badge or fog badge uh, could be on the false director. Man. I guess. <laughs> that would be uh, rough if that were the case. Yeah, we don't have the card key yet, so we don't really want to go into Radio Tower. But I guess there is that one false director chain. Well, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Yeah, I hope not. Meanwhile, Snorms is uh, making his way over to uh, Cyanwood. Ooh, Vandio uh, decides to check the Elder that he ended up bailing out on earlier in the run.
Yeah, can't imagine that Hypno will cause Raikou any problems. Yeah, there were so many items at the very beginning of the run, and now it's just running dry. Well, I mean, Snorz is getting badges at, like, a decent pace. Yeah, there are still seven badges. We don't know the locations of yet. I think both runners will be a little bit frustrated that they don't have uh, both Storm Badge and Fly yet. You do often get both halves a little earlier than this, but sometimes one of the one of the halves can uh, can troll you a bit, as they have done in this race. See Vandio uh, head over towards Goldenrod. Uh, could be taking the uh, train. Oh, also uh, getting the yeah, dig he TM here. <clears throat> yeah, he, he did. He did save. So I think he's like considering if there's nothing here that he might just want to reset. But he's going to go back into Kanto. Going to fight Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina can be a little bit scary early because she has uh, because she has a lot. Of, she <clears throat> because she has pretty high level Pokemon. But uh, with with Porygon, we should be all right. Raikou, rather. Oh, Raikou. Sorry, it's as soon as a Porygon. My bad. Ooh, Spore on the Articuno. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Raikou is a little bit more level than Porygon 2 is. But only has one weakness. We'll probably be fine against Sabrina. Yeah. For the purpose of the randomizer, we uh, essentially uh, took all the Pokemon's experience groups and just uh, even or made them all the same aside from legendaries. So most Pokemon are in the, uh, what is it, medium slow? And then... Uh, legendaries are in slow, I believe. That's uh, medium fast for the uh, for the uh, for the for the non for the non legendaries. But yeah. Well, that was mineral badge on the uh, what is usually the HMO two check. Yep. We so we did need to come over here. Sabrina leads with an Eevee. Yep. Looks pretty good to set up on. It's just like in uh in the Villa Gen 2 speedruns, just hope for charm and set up on itself up set up in its face. <laughs> there you go. We see some arms going for the, uh, going for the kimonos. Luckily, uh, Sabrina did not put up too much of a fight this time. Yeah, at, at level 50 minimum, your, your opponents have fully evolved Pokemon. Sabrina's just a little bit under that. 
and so it's, it's just, just gives random. a nugget. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> supply is looking increasingly likely to be where you predicted, Jim Nick. Mm. Come on, Surge. But please have fly for us so we don't have to do my nugget head thing. Someone said there was a call after the Pokemon Center about Pokeros, was there? Did I miss that? Um, there was a call for Professor Allen for something. Hmm. I don't know what else there would be a call about at this point, so... Uh, to answer the question, though, Pokerus is not more common in Randos, so... If one of our runners got Pokerus, that is legitimate Pokerus. <laughs> Ooh, there's the SS ticket. And the red scale. Alright, so yeah, uh, just checked out the clip and chat, and indeed, uh, Snorm's got Pokerus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright. Goodness me. Yeah, that is rarer than getting a shiny, so, um, yeah. lucky. Wow. Him. Something like 1 in 22,000, or something like that? I don't know. Exactly. I don't know the exact chance, but it's, uh, something like three times as, uh, likely as a shiny, something like that. That is ridiculously lucky from Storms. Will probably not affect the run that much, but still. <laughs> well, yeah, more stat XP is more stat XP. There's a few more stat points to take right on. Yeah, and smoke screen is another free setup because if you use next accuracy. No matter how many times you get hit by smoke screen, you will never miss. Okay, it is a 1 in 21,845 chance <laughs> wow. for Pokerus. So that is very, very rare. <laughs> the story of this race, you know, Bandio gets beaten up by Yanma several times, Snorms get this poker us. Yeah, that is ugh, unfortunate, but uh, very cool to see in a marathon race. I guess you could uh, say that's never happened before. I certainly haven't seen it. Soft Sand Girls today? No. no, there is not. Let me see Storm's reset. All right, and that is Surge giving TM47. <laughs> um, no, Dave. <laughs> so, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're... it. I believe Storm Badge actually has to be on the Nugget Hedge menus now. Oh man, please please tell me there's somewhere that I've forgotten about. On the bright side, uh, you got Thunderbolt. That is huge for Raikou, yeah. And he's gonna check the boat icon. This will not be Storm Bad, because you never have to take the boat for that. But, uh... Uh, true in chat, uh, false director is an option. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, they're all, it's all awful, though. 
Dr. Nugget Hedge may as well fall to rank there before the cannot game. Goodness me. Nugget Hedge has card key into <laughs> Storm Badge on False Director after oh, you clear out the radio tower. <laughs> So Storms will make a clean fight with uh, Sabrina, and Vandio is uh, finishing up the uh, SS and quest, which will, will give us an item. <laughs> Actually, it's the SS Aqua. SS Aqua, my bad. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, just a protein, so we will be resetting. And he's still at seven badges. No, yeah, Hedge may let's go. <laughs> is that where he's gonna go? I think that's where he's gonna have oh, to go. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> he's like, but, <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting, like, do I really have to do this? Yeah. And, you know, not only that, but also, uh. Oh, he's, uh, deciding. No, no, no. Not yet, not yet. Uh, is he going to do False Director instead? <laughs> I I don't know what uh, else he has to do. Choice between the devil and a deep blue sea here, yeah, goodness me. And we'll see Snorms take on Surge. Um, not sure where Vandio is going. Yeah, where have you not changed? He checked. Um, uh, he, yeah, he checked. He, he went down here, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's turning the. He can turn in the red scale now. Yes. It could have been, I guess it could have been the red scale item. Mm, he's thinking, he's, he's kind of wandering around trying to figure out what to do at this point. Yeah, so for those who weren't here earlier, Vandio does not have the fog badge yet, which he can access right now. It's on, I forget what, I think it's like route 12 or something, I forget what the route number is. But it's, it's route like, it's, 12, I believe, yes. Yeah, so, which is the one going down from Lavender, and uh, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can cut to get an item there, and that's the Fog Flash. And Vanyu, I think has forgotten it about that item. But he's doing Nugget Hedge Maze, which we think might be, <laughs> might have to be where, where Storm Badge is. Or at least, or at least, what he'll get here will 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 lead to storm badge because of the logic of how of uh, well how early fly has to be. I mean, we can't really call this early at this point, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we do call the modifier early. Fly, uh, <laughs> it's not looking super early today. Yeah, they, see, they, uh, they, this is where uh, Fog Badge was, right above this item on yeah. Storm's screen. And, uh... Well, it looks like uh, Storm's is also kind of running out of things to do a little bit, too. Yeah, you can go through Rock Tunnel and get the SS ticket in Red Scale. Ideally, you'd want to wait until you can get the machine cart to turn in here, but uh, 
Since Norms does have Surf, he can at least talk to the talk to the guy and uh, open Misty's gym up before he does the Nugget Head phase. Uh, fly, you, you, you never have to enter Misty's gym to get Fly, so it won't be it won't actually be in there. But uh, yeah, I, I think it has to be one of the two items you get in Nugget Head Maze, or be, or like, behind, or, or like, you know, have one of the items lead there. Yeah. I do want to say, I believe this, this seed was vetted. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, all, all, the, all the seeds are like logically uh, made to be possible. It's just some of them are. Some yeah. of them have a few, uh, you know, <laughs> a few annoying, uh, a few annoying checks that you have to do. That guy opens up Misty's gym. You, to fight Misty yourself, you do still have to go through the Nugget Hedge Maze, but you can at least enter the gym and check the I one item in there, which is normally the machine part in vanilla. Yeah, this just gives uh, Storms an extra check on the way towards Nugget Hedge Maze. It's my favorite NPC in all of Pokemon. Bye bye, go go. Okay, well, nothing important in Misty's gym. And it looks like Storms does not want to <laughs> have to do Nugget Edge Maze <laughs> just yet. Not yet. He well, still we'll has. See from... He still has a few gym leaders he can find. True, he has not yet. Yeah, uh, Snorms has not done Erica, I don't think. And he hasn't no. done uh, Janine. Yeah. Now we're about to see their Storm Badge. <laughs> there it is. It was in Nugget Hedge Maze this whole time. Goodness gracious. Now you can't oh. save before, before fighting this guy because he gives you the item before you find fight him, so you can just be sad if nothing good. Yeah. The good news is Vandio can now fly. The bad news is, uh, unfortunately, that doesn't get him uh, any more real progress, considering he is still missing the fog badge, which is going to be where probably the next major progress is going to be. Yeah, but it looks like he's thinking, you know, it might have to be behind Brock or Route 4 or something. He's gonna fight Brock. He only gives us one item, but it could be something good. A lot we still don't have access to though. We can't use Waterfall yet, we can't use Whirlpool yet. Yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, we can't access Tin Tower yet. There's still quite a lot of items we can't access at the moment. Yeah, very true. Oh, there's that Articuno with Spore again.
the third should consider becoming a fire red leaf green speedrunner. He did not miss a single mega kick uh, on Porygon mm. 2. <laughs> And there's the blue card. Oh boy. Yeah, that's, that's that is a key item, but it doesn't it, it doesn't lock anything behind it, so it's mm -hmm. not important. And we're gonna see Vandio uh, go into Mount Moon here. Uh, there is a a rival fight here that is a uh, sort of optional boss in the Vanilla game. Yeah, this is kind of a sign that you're running low on things to check because you have to fight your rival and another trainer to get one item on Route 4. We see Snorm's save uh, before leaving Saladon, so likely we'll see. Um, We'll see him take on uh, Janine, grab the items, and then uh, probably reset. Yeah, because we saw Vandio fight this trainer on the way back earlier and take the long bike back up cycling right, so if you can avoid that, that's uh, that saves a little bit of time. And the rival's last Pokemon is a Delibird. Uh, he's uh, looking for an item. Not sure what. Oh, there it goes. Alright, and after one more battle, well, not this wild battle, but one more trainer battle, we will get to see what the Route 4 item is, which is infamous in the Flight and Randomizer community for being just one really annoying item that uh, control a lot of people. I kind of wonder if there's nothing here. Will Vandio consider the Elite Four play? He may. Uh, I mean, Vandio really is running out of things that he can do without Surf. And, and it's just an escape rope. Now, uh, he did. He, he uh. There is a mystery egg in uh, Victory Road that. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. That uh, he reset away. Yeah, because that was when he got stuck on the other side of the uh, Victory Road badge check. And there's the reset from Storms. I'll we'll take him back to Soldon, and he'll probably realize that I have to do Nugget Hedge Maze. <laughs> Not only that, um, it's very possible that the next progress might be on Misty as well. It could be, yeah. Because uh, we're outside. I mean, Storm Badge doesn't really give you progress necessarily. It's just a nice tool. Um, so as far as like other progress that he can do, it's not really much. There's not a whole lot, no. There's Misty, but... Uh... There is the Elite Four still, that could actually have something behind it. We know it won't have Fog Badge, but it might have something. Speaking of which, we see Vandio, uh, he's gonna grab oh. this Mystery Egg again. Yeah, we'll see if he just does that, or if he also goes towards the Elite Four. I imagine he would at least get the Fly Point. Mm, he's going over there. Probably In just fact, also checking to make sure he didn't miss anything the first time around. Yeah. It's also possible that uh, he decides to do the E4, which will work him back to New Bark, and then just get the SS ticket check at the same time, but uh, that would require doing the E4. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Raikou who can do it, it's just a lot of fights. You have to fight your, face your rival, too. Yeah, so he's at least gonna get the flight. Ah, uh, he's going for it, okay. I mean, what else can he do at this point? Um, false yeah, this, he, he can't <laughs> really... <laughs> there is false director, yeah. Besides that... I think that, yeah, you, you, there might not be anything else he can do without the fog badge. Yeah, at this point, uh, both mains are also sufficiently leveled where most fights in the game are not going to be a problem. So at this point, it's just a matter of uh, getting checks as fast as you can. Yeah, usually by the time you fight red, you're like high 50s, low 60s. And uh, the, the, these two Pokemon have got solid enough defenses that, you know, unless they just run into something that's built to counter what they're running. It'll be fine against most of uh, anything Red can leave it. He's uh, going to do the E4 shopping, and he's going for it. Yep, yeah, I thought so. So, yep, yeah, there are two items behind this. There's, the, there's one that Elm gives you, and one in Tin Tower. Yeah, and additionally, for the Tin Tower, he will have to fight the three stages as well to get in there. Which he probably will have to do eventually, because there's usually items in Tin Tower. But yeah, right like, now they don't have Tin Tower access. There's like 11 items in Tin Tower or something, so pretty... Not to mention the ho Chamber as well, which requires Yeah, there's four more. Tin yeah. Tower. Uh, question in chat, who's in a better position right now? Um, well, Snorm's... Uh, is in a better position, but mostly because Vandio uh, missed a, an important check, uh, which he has not gone back for at this point. And this yes. will be the Storm Badge for Snorps. Yep. He'll be relieved to see that. That being said, if anything is on the Elite Four, uh, this gives Vandio a pretty good uh, lead, I guess, in a way. Because there's a good chance Snorms does not check the Elite Four for a very long time. But he's gonna check Misty, it looks like, and see if she gives us anything important. Mm -hmm. I'd say for Full Adam Randalizer randomizers like this, uh, it's definitely not over till it's over. Um, oh yeah, this can even come down. Can check. It can even come down to the final fight. Um, like, someone can be three badges behind and uh, or, and catch up all the way on the final fight just because uh, red gives them such a hard time. Yeah, man, I did say that these two mains are pretty good unless red has something to counter your... Uh... <laughs> To count your lead, but uh, you know, it happens. This is Red we're talking about. <laughs> he, he could just, he could he, just have, he could just have that thing. He's gonna lead a level 81 fully of all Pokemon. It's so. gonna be hit though, and <laughs> it'll have Earthquake this time. Mm And Misty gives a super wow. repel. Nothing on Misty, huh? Hmm. Well, maybe the Elite Four will, will, won't be a waste of time then. Alright, we see Snorms flying back to Violet City. There is more we can check though. We still haven't. We can. We can yeah, Snorms, can, Snorms, can Snorms can fight. Snorms can fight Blaine. He can fight Blue as well. 
Um, to answer the question, the sleeping poke, the sleeping Snorlax was a Yanma. <laughs> um, very infamous Yanma at this point. Norms is checking the uh, Dark Side Cave items, uh, the Blackthorn side of Dark Side Cave. Oh, the card the key card on key. the Black Glasses check. So that immediately tells Storms go to Radio Tower. <laughs> Yeah, this is when you have to go here later in the run, uh, it does become a little bit of a slog because you just knock out everything and the experience isn't super worth it. So it's like the uh, Rocket Underground where if you're going there when your main is a bit lower level, it definitely helps to catch up in levels. The Pokemon on the right, uh, uh, locked behind the card key, are a little bit higher level, so... <coughs> you will appreciate being a bit higher level for those things, those are like, mid-30s. True, true, true. Uh, But luckily for Storms, after uh, this Rocket Tower section, uh, there's not really any other major points of the run where there's uh, a lot of fights in a row. Outside of maybe E4 if he needs to do E4. If he has to do Claire, there's like a few there, but even that's not uh, big gauntlet or anything. Yeah, that's like five fights. Yeah, that one's not too bad. It's more the cutscenes. <laughs> and yeah, the, and the walking in and out of the gym, which no walking, it's going to be biking, so it actually won't be nearly as bad. We have to unlock Claire. We do have to clear out the rockets here. Yeah, I suspect Storms may go there next, but he doesn't have the glacier badge, so we can't use Whirlpool yet. Yeah. So that, yeah, we are limited in the number of items we can get from Claire at the moment. All right, and uh, we see Vandio has made it to Lance. And I hope for his sanity that there is something on E4. Looks like uh, Vandio had a pretty easy time on Lance. Yep, no problem.
right, and we're able to reset immediately after the save prompt um, in the Hall of Fame and go straight back to New Bark. And Elm will tell us he has a shiny new Glacier badge for us? No, okay. <laughs> TM45. Alright, meanwhile, Snorms uh, gets a TM. And um, after clearing out the rockets, there's and Waterfall. waterfall. Okay. Which well, that could we got the be Rising important. badge earlier, so we definitely now have the Waterfall access. And we look like Vandio is now going to be doing False Director, which Snorms will also probably do False... Well, no, actually, no, he left it. Oh, he might be doing a quick PC heal before doing it. I guess with a bike, it's not too bad to come back here if you need to. That's true. Yeah, it looks like he is... Yep, he's just gonna skip out on it. Uh, not going to basement either. Going straight to Claire. Or not Claire. He's gonna check uh, the waterfall multiple yes. items in Mount Mortar. That makes sense. Now Storms has the Bolt Beam, com beam combo as well on his Porygon too. Yes, that is a very good combination of moves, uh, I believe. Magneton. Yeah, I, like it, it just hits a lot of Pokemon super effectively, and uh, he has Surf to hit Magneton neutrally at least. extra trainers Vandio is going to fight since he's doing uh, the vanilla false director. Plus we'll find the Pokedex which uh, is one of the worst items to pick up because it uh, it does mess a little bit with your muscle memory when you've been menuing, because you now have this other option at the top of your menu. Yeah, the Pokedex is entirely useless in these sort of runs. Right, and the last item here is the Clear Bell, which All is that right. 10 tower access. <laughs> the, the fetch quest continues. get to see the Three Sages fight. Alright, and here's the False Director for Vandio, which might be the last thing he has available to him outside of the one check in, uh, at the beginning of 10 tower that he can get for beating E4. So very shortly Vandio is going to be having to figure out what he missed. Yeah. 
We did also forget to pick up the item in Lighthouse blocked by the trainer, but that wasn't anything important. As we saw in Snorms as end. It's an Ultra Ball. Nothing on the false director. Mm. Alright, and he's checking his key item, seeing if he missed something. his badges as well. Yeah, I don't know if Mandy uses like uh, a tracker to log where he got all his items. We do have trackers mm. available for uh, which, you know, they're at least using to mark out the the items that they've gotten. Yeah, it is very easy to mismark the tracker uh, and make a mistake and at that point uh, it can be kind of rough. Trying to figure out what to do. He goes to Pewter. Meanwhile, Storms is going to do a save reset strat here for the Ooh, machine guard. The team now that yeah, could be... that is worth keeping. Yep, that locks uh, that locks a few items. We've got uh, three items you can get by turning that in. Bandio is now going to be uh, coming back for this item that he uh, reset away because he didn't have seven badges when he came here. Yeah, this was just a TM, I think. Okay, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go uh, to Route 12. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> thanks. Yeah, now Vandy will be able to make a little bit of progress. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where is Route 12? Uh, it's uh, the one... South the of one Lavender. South of Lavender. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Yes, really. No, dude. Yeah. You just, you just, you got the fisherman item and then dipped. <laughs> Wait, what sort of what are they doing here? This is the wrong static. <laughs> oh no! Wait. Oh, yeah, not that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, he, that he, one. He... Not that one. Oh no! The... Uh, yeah, 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 there's uh, another item on that There's another item. Yet. You have cut. There's an item there, but I checked it already. It was a Master Ball. Uh, nope. Not, nope. not that item. Fly back to Lavender. Keep going. Past the Fisherman House. Oh! Okay, alright, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this should get Vandio back on track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy to do.
Alright, uh... So I, w I didn't really catch what happened on Snorm's end uh, during that. Oh, we just got the machine like... part and that was it, really, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna turn that in. Yeah, I don't think... It doesn't look like he got any, uh... Any more, uh, key items after that. One item here from the from the from the from the guy you turn the machine part into, and then it also unlocks another item in lavender and one in vermilion. Uh, looked like a rare candy, but he uh, his bag was full. Yeah, Snorms is obviously There's confident enough in his levels that he doesn't need to make room for the rare, rare candies. Ultra Ball. Oh, there we and go. There's the Volcano Badge. All right, so Machine Part is required. And probably we'll be going to the basement now. Yeah, because we've uh, cleared cleared Radio Tower, we only have to fight our rival to get all the items down here. Mm. And like we mentioned earlier in the run, he uh, fought that trainer uh, kind of blocking the door uh, way earlier in the run, because the experience is more important then. That is a mirror code if I've ever yeah, seen one. That's, uh, one of the few things that will take take you out at this uh, with with such a level advantage. Bitch, it is a vibe. Okay, well, it fainted into the uh, knocked out <laughs> level fifty three Porygon could not beat a level eight Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. So now we just put in a special button combination here. Looks like it's going to be 1312 in order to access all the items here in the basement in case you're ever playing casually and want to know how you're supposed to get all these items. Well, that's how. There's the lost, lost item. item. Little fetch quest stuff. You can turn and that in and saffron for another item. And a mystic water. There's the soul badge. Alright, we're getting ever closer. Just, what, three badges away? And, uh... Yep. There's the silver wing, which... You know, you could switch to the level 60 if you want to. Yeah, probably not mm. in, in either of these players' consideration at this point. Yeah, they may uh, decide to pick it up as a backup Pokémon in case something happens with your main in the red fight, but... Um, otherwise, it's not really necessary. Yeah, it's something you can do, but it, it is a little bit of a detour, so I think it's unlikely, even if they do go into a while. Mm. Would be nice for the content, though, to see at least what That's it is. That's true, yes. If they cared about the content, they'd check level 16. There's Earth Badge, which okay. I kind of suspected that uh, <laughs> there was going to be a badge behind that, so... Well, that leads Glacier and uh, 
Marsh Badge. That's right. Hmm. Looks like uh, Snorms will be taking on the SS Aqua quest. <laughs> Got it right this time. Starting to finish up the uh, the rocket basement. Uh, you'll eventually get the thunder badge from Price by doing all this, so that is nice. Snorm should really go next because usually you'd say you'd say Claire, but since we don't have the glacier badge, it's a bit of a yeah. less valuable play to go over there at the moment. He still hasn't done Blaine or Blue. Yeah, Blaine's a pretty quick fight, and uh, well, even Blue's probably pretty. Is you know with, with the levels he has, it's probably not too bad now. Hmm. If I had to guess, it's probably where glacier badge is on Blaine or Blue. See Blaine. Snorms uh, talk to Blue. So, in case he does need to fight Blue. Now Blaine is one of the few trainers that has a level 50 Pokemon, which means that it is. That Pokemon in particular is guaranteed to be fully evolved. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of on the same level of difficulty, he's on a similar level of difficulty to Sabrina, it's just that you often end up fighting him much later than Sabrina, so... By the time you get to him, it's, he's generally just a pretty quick fight to take care of. Victory Bell is putting up a fight. Uh, surviving the ice punches and throwing up uh, some sludge bombs. And just a TM. All right, we might see blue, a blue fight coming up. Looks like it. Drill Peck him on Chan. No, oh, Cotton Spore is kind of annoying. Yeah. Blue is one of the few fights that um, you're definitely going to set up on, unless your main is just ridiculous. Um, and uh, that him on Chan was not the friendliest to set up on. Typhlosion using flame wheel, what kind of rando? <laughs> Ooh, 
Well, that was close. Yikes. Yeah, that um, cotton spore really, uh, going to spanner in the works here. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Thunder Badge for Vandio. Oh no. The Raikou. Yeah, I think the the, the good moves that Vandy at all or by TM though, so Yeah, that's lucky. Is that a second <laughs> ramble? <laughs> it sure is. Oh. Okay, you got him this time. Alright, and that should be blue. No, nope, nothing on him either. Nothing on blue. Wow. Well, what else does he have to do? Well, he could. He he, he could. He he oh, could no. play there now. He, he hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't done Brock or Root Four yet. So he's, he's gonna, gonna do. do that. We still haven't seen the other item from clearing E4. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> E4 seed still possible. No, but it's it's, uh, it's it's more likely to be behind Claire at this point, I would say. I would say that as well. We do still have two items to get, so... Yeah, well, I mean, I guess, I guess the Elite Four could be holding Glacier Badge and then the final mm -hmm. badge being Well Islands or something. Yeah, it's two items behind Claire uh, before we get Glacier Badge at least. Yeah. Uh, and then one item in Tin Tower that is E4 locked. Yeah, we've seen the other one that Elm gave us after the Elite Four, and that was not important. Right, we see Vandio going towards the Waterstone Chamber. Yeah, at this point, Vandio is just going to be checking all these surf lock checks. There's the blue card for Snorms. Uh, Snorms has not checked Route 4 yet either, so he's going to be doing that. finished up the chambers, so let's see what he decides to do next. He's going to be checking the Violet City uh, surf items. Meanwhile, uh, Snorms makes some short work of the uh, rival boss fight. This is at least another easy way to get a little bit more experience for red since Tom hasn't been picking up any red candies. 58 should be fine, really. Absolutely, 58. Uh, I don't see many Pokemon that would give this Porygon 2 trouble. It's hard to really. Uh, the, the spicing moves in this gen are not that great. You can, like, you know, the. the they're all pretty, the, the high powered ones are all pretty inaccurate, so should be okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, the worst case scenario would be like a cross chopping the champ or something like that, but even in that case, you can just uh, kind of try to get it to miss because yeah, cross chop's not that accurate. It only has 5 PP as well, so you can just stall it out. And we see Storms is deciding to go for Claire. We have seen Glacier Badge be in the Dragon's Den before. It's definitely possible. Best case scenario for Snorms is finding the Glacier Badge in the Dragon's Den and then finding the final badge also in the Dragon's Den. But um, assuming we do find the Glacier Badge here, um, there's not that many more places that Snorms needs to check. As long as the final badge is not behind E4, um, Snorms will probably find it relatively quickly. Yep, the only places uh, that are locked by Waterfall are Whirl Island and one item on uh, Roots. 20... how was it called? What was it, like 26 20... or something? That? 28? 27? I forget, but it, anyway, it's, 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 but it's, but it's, it's, it's the one on your way to Victory Road from New Bark Town anyway. That's car key for... Vandia. He's already beaten the false director, so he's done a fair bit of radio tower already, but he can do the right side now. That being said, Snorms also has not done false director, which we know oh, doesn't have anything on it, that, but yeah. uh, he may decide to do false director at some point, which you know wouldn't be that bad of a time loss, considering he's already done the rest of the radio tower. Snorms is getting through Claire very quickly, as expected. Uh, at this point, nothing's gonna really stop this Porygon, to, aside from maybe something on red, if he's super unlucky. And we have just one more mandatory battle before we can access the items in Dragon's Den. And it's just a trainer that's just a jerk, just like watching the door waiting for someone to come in. Building. Oh, what could it be? This isn't. Ah, glacier badge. It's the glacier badge. It's the glacier badge. Okay. That's the <laughs> that was the most likely thing for it to be. And, uh... Yeah, it would have been very, very surprising actually if it was not glacier badge. It's and also, that's uh... like go to Elite Four or something. Yeah, um... not only surprising <laughs> but very inconvenient if it wouldn't be. So. Yeah, so now we're just looking for the Marsh Badge. Could be in here, or it could be anywhere else. Locked behind Waterfall. Not Waterfall, Whirlpool. 
Or it could still be the Elite Four item, but probably not. Yeah. Um, we'll probably see Snorms get the next badge in the next five minutes or so, unless it's E4 locked. And then we're on to red. Alright, so uh, the Marsh Badge is not in the Dragon's Den, which means we basically have two places we can check um, that are Whirlpool Lock. One is Whirl Islands, which has a lot of different item checks, or we can go to uh, the route immediately uh, to the right of New Bark Town, which will have exactly one item. It looks like he's going to be going for the uh, Whirl Islands. Yeah, I mean, this is the more item dense location, so. Definitely makes sense to check here early, early on. Yeah, we may also see him uh, look at the level 60 uh, just for content sake. Okay, well, at this point, Snorms doesn't know uh, the lead he has over Vandio, so I'd be surprised if he checked it. But maybe it may be after the race. We can ask yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, already he's not going towards Lugia, so probably not yeah, going to see Yeah, there is that. an item up there, though, so he'll have to come back there eventually. Well, unless he finds the Marsh oh, Badge before <laughs> that. Unless he finds the Marsh Badge. Exactly. There's the lost item for Vandio. Yep, that locks the Earth Badge. Alright, just two more items here before uh, he has to dig out and get that last item near Lugia's room. And there it is. There's the Marsh Badge. Alright, well that is go mode for Snorms. Go mode meaning we are ready to go fight Red. Yep, just gotta go talk to Oak and then we can act with Mount Silver and we'll see what Red has in store for us. This is Mount Silver. Let's see the. I want to see if he can do. If he's going to do it without Flash. Yeah. Oh, of course. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. It You'll does save a that. couple of seconds here to not use Flash, but it is a. Uh, it is a challenge to be able to do this consistently and easily, without too many bonks. Of course, running out of repel halfway through doesn't help. There you go. Alright, so this is the final battle. So once uh, Snorms uh, defeats Red, that'll be time for him. Leading with the Needle Queen. Oh, this had a sleep move earlier, right? Yeah. I believe it did, yes. And this yes. Needle Queen, being a stony though, only learns, I think, one move in this gen. Yeah, so this shouldn't be too scary. Uh, being put to sleep um, is not that big a deal. You can just heal it back up once it eventually... Needle Queen can't... Okay, it could not hit a sleep powder for the longest <laughs> time there. Okay, reversal's yeah. not Ooh. that scary at all. Yeah, now. even if it does... Uh... 
deal super effective damage. It's not much, especially after X defends. And Skull Bash, too. Yeah, no. Uh, Snorms has this. This is going to be a sweep. I don't think there's anything else that uh, Red could pull out that would be a problem for the Porygon. Yeah, I mean, we're all set up now. Uh, should be able to just take everything out at this point. Alright, and here's the last Pokemon coming up. There's the Steelix. One Surf away, and that's going to be... Uh, GG's for Snorms in just a second, once the done button is... There we go. There we Good go. Game. And that's GG's for Snorms. Yeah, a bit of a, bit of a longer one, this. Uh, the, the, this seed got, it was, uh, you know, we kind of had to check almost everything, so... Um, but, you know, this is just how it goes sometimes, and we got through in less than three hours, so good job. Yeah. Hopefully that was entertaining. It was definitely a very interesting ROM, that's for sure. Yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you, you you checked everything besides the Elite Four in the end, right? Uh, and False Director. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then Solar Beam TM, but that was it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And not much left. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, fly was <laughs> fly, fly was all that. Like, did Dimnix called it pretty early? Like, uh, <laughs> like maybe it'll be in Nugget Hedge Maze, and uh, took a long time to get there. Yeah, it was that or Vanilla Basement. I think that was the options I had left at that point, and I was I was there already. So it was a very interesting run. What um, what did Vandio run? The so Vandio is running the Raiko. Um... He struggled. To, he didn't get to the Raikou for a while. It was on a cycling road. Okay. But um, yep. he actually uh, checked out the uh, Snorlax, and he tried running that for a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that, that yeah. Uh, unfortunately was had a like, disappointing Snorlax. Yeah, he had a few problems where he had to... Um... Yeah, because like uh, he he like he 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 got himself stuck um below the victory road gate and uh, had to reset and he reset but like before the before the snorlax again so like a few times he had to like reset back there and it was just like <laughs> right, it was just like yeah. the yam was just, like the bane of his existence at that point uh, yeah. yeah unfortunately for Vanjo, he uh didn't get the he 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 actually forgot about the cut item on route twelve yeah he missed so the fog badge so he missed the fog badge for a long time. Uh, I thought he, that might happen. Yeah, he uh, uh, ended up doing E4 and uh, False Director and all that before he ran out of checks and oh, he just, no. yeah. So, but uh, eventually, you know, he like uh, he he's got it now. Uh, but uh, he's frankly pretty behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, easy no, to do though. Lots of lots lot, lots of checks in the game. Easy to just like forget about the odd one here and there. Mm, yeah, for sure. It, yeah, it happens. But his Raikou's yeah. been doing great with, uh, especially after he got the Thunderbolt TM, it's kind of just been tearing through everything. Yeah, I bet. But yeah, so he he has, looks like he has four more badges to go, so he has to beat Chuck for the Mineral Badge. Yeah, he has to beat Chuck. He has to beat Claire. Yeah, he has to. He has to find the machine part and turn that in. Oh yeah, yeah that was in. Uh, good question. I was, it was somewhere that I could have save reset. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was the it was yeah. the item in the middle tin. Yeah. Yeah. And then he has to do. Yeah. He has to do. Yeah, he's he's not. Yeah, he's not particularly close, I suppose, because uh, these are only only has four badges. They're like 
behind mm. doing quite a lot of other stuff. Yeah, he's yes. probably like least least 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a pretty rough surf uh combo route twelve plus um route was that route two? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty rough combo. And right now, Vandio is uh, on the right track, though. He is doing uh, Chuck, so he will be getting the, I believe it's the Mineral Badge, right? Or... Yeah, you get the yeah, Mineral Badge and Mineral Badge. Yeah, so at the very least, he's on the right track towards progress. Yeah, yeah I can't remember a... where the Rainbow Wing was, so... Yeah, I was actually going to say... I. He doesn't have the rainbow wing for some reason. Uh, rainbow wing was east of the starting town, I believe. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Tojo, uh, in, was it the surf item, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that rings a bell. Yeah, and then clear bell was behind the waterfall. I hope me falling in Morty's gym multiple times is entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, how, how uh, I guess the, the, the indoor bike thing is still pretty new, I guess. How many, yeah. how, how, how many, how many, how many races have you, have you done with it, Snorms? Uh, probably 10, 10 or so. Uh -huh. Not heaps, but I've done it a few times. Yeah, I mean, well, it is it is pretty nice to uh, see see like areas like the the lighthouse and the, and the mahogany rocket hideout go go so quickly with the with the bike. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I mentioned this during the run, but I'm I'm definitely gonna miss the uh, sh movement in the rocket base where you uh, where the guy just barely doesn't see you. If you know what I'm talking the, about. Yeah, the, yeah, the rotator guy. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna miss yeah, that one. Mm. I forgot you can actually do it on the way back on the bike instead of having to go down. You can actually go straight past him on the way back. But oh, there you go. The movement lives on then. It's just yes. the other direction. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> forgot to do that this time. Jack Rusek after that, so he'll get his machine part pretty soon.
Oh, Snorms, one thing we were curious about, uh, we obviously, like, you weren't going to check the level 16 position you were in, but we are kind of curious to know what it is, <laughs> so, uh, if yeah, you'd like, it would be, it'd be cool to see what, see what that, see what that ended up being. Wallstorms are doing that, uh, Vandio uh, is through the sages now, so, uh, oh, one thing interesting to note is that since Vandio is using a Raikou, he will get to save a little bit of time on this cutscene, as you'll see here in a second. Yeah, so the Raikou did not jump down since he has one, <laughs> uh, so it, it saves just a couple seconds there, but, you know, every second's important. Gonna do it in the dark for the side points. Yeah, did did appreciate your uh, dark movement in Mount Silver. Always cool to see. Ooh, and see no one know how to navigate these dark rooms. And the other elite pull check was a great ball. Thank goodness me. One yeah. DV attack. Oregon 2 doesn't have great DVs either, but. Yeah, it was the great. job done. Kind of wish I set, the, set it to night time and then I would have got level 40 Paragon instead of 35. Yeah. It's not a huge deal. But like, you know, you don't, you don't know if you're going to want to repel through there or not. Yeah. I thought about clock resetting, but... Yeah, there will... didn't look to be anything else really that good in there, because Vandio got a few encounters, but he saw like, a few Ariados, a Bulbasaur... Uh, he did see a match off, I guess that could have been alright, but... Uh, yeah, I, guess Bulbas I saw the Bulbasaur Machop, like, yeah, they could have been okay, but I don't but, think... Like, you, I don't, you didn't have any cams at the time anyway. You never picked any up, I don't think. You were just, like, rejecting had... them because you didn't need them. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple, like, because I oh, got the 35 right, Porygon, and then I used one on it to stop yeah, getting so encounters. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Not uh, sure if you noticed, but you also got Pokeros on your word. I did, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we actually didn't notice it at the time. Either. Yeah, we had a chance uh, to point that out. It was like... Oh, really? Yeah, that was funny. I was like, why am I getting a phone call? <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I noticed that the text in the Pokemon was, uh, Pokemon Center was longer, and I was like, eh, that was weird. <laughs> then I got a call straight after, and I was like, oh, oh that's what it was. Yeah, I mean, look at those uh, uh, effort values <laughs> on the Porygon. Yeah, sure made up a little bit for those low DVs. Yeah. yeah that has, that's a lot of static XP. <laughs> <laughs> No, Pokeross is still the same chance as ever in the in the randomizer. Not, that's 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 not one of the that's not one of the things that has been modified. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's the first time I've ever got it in a rando. I've got it once in like a crystal glitch or speed run before, which is just pure time loss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys think I should call it? I was I was waiting. I was holding back. I was like, okay, if there's two badges in the ho ho chamber, I might I'll I'll try to finish. But no, uh, unfortunately, uh, there's clear. quite a lot for you to do before you can get those last badges. I'm afraid. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The, yeah. In the end, uh, yeah, glacier badge was in dragon's den, and uh, and then yeah, and then oh. Marsh, and Marsh and Whirl Islands. Yeah. That is just tragic. Yeah, what a what a scene. And, yeah, volcano badge. You need to get the machine part from Tin Tower to turn that in and get it from the guy in Vermilion. So, yeah, there's quite a lot for you to do still. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll just call that there. I hope that uh, it was at least enjoyable for everyone in the chat. Yeah, because you, it was you never got, enjoyable got, for me. You got, <laughs> you, you kind of got wrecked in quite a few places. Like it start, it's all started with that hypno that just you felt like you should be able to beat, but it just wasn't going down. Yeah. It would not miss a single egg bomb. Uh, it just it's didn't crazy, miss. Yeah. I just want to point out. I mean, we've already talked about it, but uh, while you. You know, struggled with the Snorlax. You missed the Fog Badge. You struggled with the Hypno, amongst other things. Snorm's got Pokerus. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. What were you running? Uh, Porygon Two that I found in Victory Road. Okay, Victory. Yeah, I didn't find anything good in Victory Road. I was pretty sad about it, actually. I I did beat Erica with Yanma though. That was kind of sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the struggle. Yeah, I just well, uh, I just felt I, I hope uh, next time <laughs> anyone watches this and chat that uh, you you get a better showing than this. I hope uh, I hope Snorms was able to uh, show off just how fast these can be done. Uh, like it's rough not, seed it's not, and me missing fog badge is rough, but look, it's, it's it's not often you see uh, you see Yamna put in work, so. Uh... You know, I'm, yeah. I'm... <laughs> it was certainly entertaining, so don't feel yep. too bad. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for us then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... GG. GG Snorms. So uh, GG. Thanks for commentating, guys. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thanks to PSRM for uh, accepting us. All right, yeah. Uh, thanks for having you guys. All right, thanks for, yeah. You know, you. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for commentating. And uh, of course, welcome to Vandio and Storms for uh, for the runs. It was really, really interesting and really unlucky and lucky at the same time. <laughs> I do agree with that. That's that's how these randomizers go. You get to see the full spectrum here. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Absolutely.